guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Francesca and today is day 3 of Vlogmas. So I decided to participate in the Tis the Seasonathon, which is a readathon created by Ether at Bookables. And this is going to be my TBR since it starts today, December 3rd, and it ends on December 9th. There are five reading challenges and they are not particularly hard to complete, so I might be able for once to actually do a readathon and do all the reading challenges. The first challenge is to read a book with red or green on the cover. And for this one, I decided to go with an Italian book that I wanted to read this winter. And it has some red on the cover, even though it's not the predominant color, I guess. It is Notti in Bianco e Bacia Colazione by Matteo Bussola. The translation of the title would be something like Sleepless Nights and Kiss at Breakfast. I think that this is kind of non-fiction and it is about a dad and his relationship with his daughters and it sounds just cute and sweet and tender and that's what Christmas is all about. Second reading challenge is to read a book while listening to holiday music. I'm not going to listen to songs because I cannot read if there are words being sung in the background, but I will be listening, you know, to those kind of instrumental background Christmassy musics. And the book that I will be reading for this challenge is A Faraway Smell of Lemon by Rachel Joyce. Rachel Joyce wrote some contemporary novels and every time she publishes a new book, it's something that I'm interested in checking out, but I never have so far. So this is a short story, short novella for Christmas that takes place during Christmas. I think it's like 25 pages long or something like that. And it's a way to see if she and I will get along well. The third challenge is to read a warm and fussy book. Just yesterday, which was Sunday, I was at home with my roommate and it was just the two of us, obviously, and we decided to cook something. Since it was Sunday, let's just cook something nice to eat. And we decided to cook pasta al forno, which is a, you know, it's nothing too complicated, but it's a traditional meal that we have on Sundays, that us Italians have on Sundays, usually with our families and we decided to cook that and to watch a movie and we decided to watch the Christopher Robin movie and oh my god it was so beautiful we both cried it was funny and it was sweet and it was heart melting and I, I just I just loved it so so much and I've never watched or read anything relating Winnie the Pooh which is crazy. And the immediate consequence of that thought was going on Amazon for some, you know, compulsive, impulsive book shopping. And I purchased the Winnie the Pooh book that is the exact replica of the edition that was first published in 1926. And if it's anything like the movie, it's going to be warm and fuzzy and I'm going to love it. The fourth challenge is to read a short book. Now, as you can see, all the books that I'm choosing are short books because I really want to do this readathon right and the only way to go for me is to choose short books to read. And ironically enough, um, the short book for this challenge is the longest book that I'll be reading for this readathon, but it's still around 200 to 150 pages, so it, you know, it's a short book and it is Melmoth by Sarah Perry. I wanted to read this back in November. I started it in November. I read like the first 10 pages or so. I didn't finish it, but I was really getting into the story and so I thought I would finish it for this readathon. And last but not least is read a holiday themed book. I haven't decided yet, but I got from the library a collection of short stories, short Christmas stories. So there are quite a few that I might be reading for this challenge, but specifically I am torn between two short stories. One is The Nutcracker by E.T.A. Hoffman and the other one is The Adventure of the Blue Carbuncle and it is a Sherlock Holmes Christmas story which 
I need to read because I love me some Sherlock Holmes and Sherlock Holmes around Christmas. I, I, I want to see that. That is something that has to be part of my life in a way. So these are the reading challenges and the books slash stories that I'll be trying to read for this readathon. If you want to join in, you will find the link to Ether's readathon announcement in the description down below as well as all the reading challenges are listed in the description down below. Or if you're participating and you've already chosen the books that you plan on reading or you've already done your TBR video, let me know in the comments down below so I can come and check it out. This is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and happy Vlogmas! Warm hugs! <laughs>